Hello guys, here we're making a small video of uh, these two beautiful uh, UH-60 uh, Blackhawks. Here we got, uh, everybody should have uh, the Force of Valor here. There's a 17-year-old helicopter by the Forces of Valor. And the other one is by Air Force One. Uh, Air Force One. And uh, wow, what a difference in heights, huh? Uh, Air Force One is a lot taller. And uh, Forces of Valor is a lot smaller. Um, they both have beautiful details. Uh, the, the Forces of Valor. It opens up. It shows the uh, engine details. Which is uh, Air Force One doesn't. But uh, I tell you what. For a 17 year old model. This Force of Valor is a must have. I mean everybody. Sh every collector should have a. Forces of Valor. Uh, Blackhawk. You know, if you're into helicopters. But here's the Air Force One. It's pretty neat. It's real tall. It's real tall. It's got great details. But uh, to me, it's like my favorite is the, the Forces of Valor, man. This thing is beautiful for his age. Uh, I like Air Force One. The other thing is a little taller. I like the light, the beacon light here on the Forces of Valor compared to the Air Force One. So they both got uh, highly, I like the details, uh, the ribbits on the Forces of Valor. Great ribbits compared to the Air Force One. Uh, Forces of Valor has more, more details in ribbit wise. Um, Pilots, they both got pilots. Uh, it's pretty cool. But uh, between these two helicopters, to me, my favorite one is uh, uh, Forces of Valor for sure, man. I um, mean, I'm not mocking uh, Air Force One. It's a beautiful helicopter. But to me, it's uh, the Forces of Valor, man. I like it. Very nice, very good looking helicopter. Then we have another one on the other side. Here's a, a Navy helicopter. Let me pick that one up. Let me put this one down. And let me put the um, the other one's from the Navy. It says UH-60, right? But the difference between this helicopter is that it, says it should be an MH-60. But uh, Air Force One... Uh, Put a UH-60. I thought that landing gear would be in the center because you know that it lands on aircraft here, so they gotta have a stronger landing gear. So you would think that they would put that in the center, but who knows, you know? But uh, here it is, man. It's a nice helicopter, beautiful. Uh, it's got a, uh, it's got details on the blade that uh, forces of battle doesn't have. Great details on the rivets. Nice in color tail. It's not bad at all, guys. I bought this one. Oh my god. Man, I gotta say it like 15 years ago I bought this black hawk. And I still have it. The box is a little worn. Uh you know, old age, man. But the uh, MH60 here, guys, yeah, it's pretty neat. I have a lot of helicopters. I just never make a lot, you know, make videos of it. But I thought I'd make a video of it on the 4th of July, guys. Happy 4th of July. And uh, today's video is uh, the UH-60 Blackhawk. And I'm going to call this one, the Navy one, uh. MH60. But alright guys, peace. And I have another YouTube channel. And my other YouTube channel it, it consists of uh die cast cards. Like see like the ones you see here and the ones you see right here. So I got another channel die cast cards. So uh you know 
weathering die cast cars, stuff like that. Like the Chevelle that's under there. I weather that one. I do a lot of weathering. But, uh, yeah, so yeah, looking at the MH60. But, all right, guys, peace. And a happy 4th of July. Stay safe. And God bless.